Well, we're continuing to track the uh, setting up of shop of this high pressure system well up to our north and a lot of times when they move in, they kind of try to clear us out of some of that cloud cover. We'll see if that wants to happen later on today, but again, at least some indications that it's going to struggle to do so. Let's look at future track. One of those ideas hanging on to a lot of those low clouds that we're tracking this morning as we get all the way through this afternoon, and that's a little more concerning in terms of those temperatures getting back into the 40s later on today. We'll be tracking that, though, for our Tuesday tomorrow. Got a lot of better, better chance at seeing some sunshine, and that'll help us out. Here's what we're thinking here as we get into the middle of the week, and again, we'll top out around 40 today. It's not going to be terrible out there by any means. This is pretty typical of uh, early February weather, a little above average, though, as we get into tomorrow. Much better day to get outside and knock out any of those outdoor chores. But by Thursday, things start to take a change here, and that's mainly with some rain chances starting to scoop back in. Let us look at future tracks, sneaking some of that moisture back in early in the day. And it looks like it's going to be here with us here as we go through the first half of Thursday. We'll get you up to the morning commute time and still hanging on to some pretty spotty showers all the way until about midday when that cold front finally sweeps on through. And it's starting to look like it's going to take most of the moisture with it. Now, it's still possible we may pick up a few flurries here as we get into the afternoon hours if any of that moisture is kind of lagging behind that frontal boundary. But we'll be tracking that. Even if it does snow, we're not concerned about it becoming an issue out on some of those roadways. By Friday, things start to clear up and at least looking a little more sunny as we close out the work week. But unfortunately, behind that cold front, that's going to be kind of the appetizer of some of uh, the cold air that we're going to be tracking, especially by this weekend. I think that's going to be more so the entree as we get into Saturday night into Sunday. Look at that. It's going to be the coldest air that we've seen thus far this year. And again, still working out some of the details as of right now. This is a look at some of those morning temperatures we're expecting by Saturday morning down into the 20s. Sunday morning, though, into Monday morning. Those look like they're going to be two of the worst mornings that we've seen so far this season. And again, looks like it's going to be tough to shake some of those winds at least as we get into Sunday morning. That's where we think those wind chills are going to be easily pretty negative here across mid-Missouri. So we'll have to watch this. That's dangerous level of, or that is the dangerous level of cold that we're going to be tracking here as we kick off and really kind of close out the weekend more so. Could even look at a shot at some light snow. That's starting to show up in some of the latest data coming in this morning. Again, pretty uncertain here once we get on the other side of about Thursday and Friday as to how this all is going to be shaking out. But we do know we're getting cold. Still continue to track some of the latest details. Stay with us, though, as we get into the next couple of days.